welcome back to another video this is going to be an exciting one for you and for me so the tt as you know from the last video is pre is all back together basically here she is and she did start on the last video which is good and i can't see any oil leaks or anything like that so i think i think we're good to go the only thing i haven't got on at the moment I don't know if we'll pick it up or not. I haven't got all the lower trim in. And the reason for that is we're going to be putting a boost gauge in. The centre pod. So I'm just waiting for my gauge to turn up. It's on back order at the moment. It's a bit dark in here. Um, but yeah, I've got started to get some bits. Here's the adapter for it and the, the fitting kit. So just need the gauge and then we can get that on. Uh, just put the car on charge this morning, so it's starting to charge up. Uh, I've checked the levels, they all seem good. I've also bled the brakes. I don't know if you've seen much of the brakes yet. I didn't do much video on the brakes, and I'll tell you why. Because I came down here to film doing it, and I left my SD card in my computer. And this is like half hour, 40 minutes from where I live, so I couldn't go back, get it, come back, get it, but... <coughs> The brakes are on um so hopefully that's gonna be all good so let's start her up and uh get her out on the road and see what happens Here we go. So far, no management lights, which is a good thing. Let me find my phone so I can uh, get us out of here. Let's do it. Doesn't feel too much different at the moment to what it did before. I wouldn't say there's any more vibrations and the reason i say that is because i know i didn't show you it but i did use the powerflex black series um engine and transmission set um engine and transmission uh inserts um, but i can't feel i mean a little bit but no, nothing crazy and we did do the oil balance shaft delete as well so i would have thought it would have been that's opening the gate a bit more than this but we have got the overly level of us just in case anything happens but still no energy management light no abs no brake lights no nothing like that everything is saying it's good we are off yeah i, I can hear a bit of droning from the exhaust but not too much vibration yet through the steering wheel let me close the window so you can hear me a bit better to be fair i can hear 
I can hear the turbo kicking in. So putting that new core on there has worked. Yeah, she's there. But obviously we still need to go and get this maps now. So we're going to Artec and we'll be getting a stage two plus map. So that should get us to about 275, 290. But maybe with this uh, race call we put in, we may get up to 300. 300 would be nice. I'd be very happy with 300 brake and about 350 pounds of torque. But until we hit the dyno and get the map, we don't really know what we're going to get. But that is definitely going to be coming and we can see what is going to happen there. But it's not horrible to drive. It's not too noisy. And as I said in the, the last video, when you see me put a load of bits on, I did actually put a new condenser in front of the intercooler, so I had to take the whole front end all off again. But I think it was worth doing, because obviously when we go and get maps, we, we can get a bit more airflow. And a lot of people did say, oh, intercooler should go out of the front. I totally agree, an intercooler should be at the front of the stack. But this one was designed to go where it was supposed to go and that was where the original went. So that is where I put it. And obviously the designers and manufacturers know more than I do. Maybe you know more than them, I don't know. But it was all bolted up there, all the fixings were there. The condenser screwed onto the front of that, all happy days. And then back to the, um, the gravity exhaust. So the gravity exhaust was an interesting one. It was so cheap, I couldn't say no. It was like £500 or 550 for the turbo back system all the way. So was like, I think like the front bit was like £200 and the back bit was like £200 and And it does come with a 200-cell sports cat. A 100-cell sports cat I would have preferred. But this may be why we're not getting an energy management light for the Lambers, which we did put new Lamber sensors on as well. We literally got no energy management lights at all. And I would have thought I would have had it on by now, but maybe when we give it a bit of stick, that might come off. But we'll see what happens. Oh, and the brakes. The 18Zs. They need breaking in. I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of play in the pedal until they kick in, but when they start biting, they're biting. But I'm not gonna over brake them because we need to bed them in, and I'm not warping my discs. My discs were like 400 and quid for the two piece floating. But they feel good. They feel good. So I'll just give those a little bit. Yeah, they're good. I can definitely feel the improvement over the standard brakes, 100% these brakes. Yeah, that, that, you, I mean, I'm not giving it anything, but I can just feel they want to bite. And I did go for the Brempo race pads as well. I can't remember what they were called, something 2000s or, or something like that. I'm not totally sure. But so far, I'm, I'm quite impressed. It's driving all right. We've got no smoke behind us. It's good, I think. But to be honest with you, putting all these bolt on bits on now and not having a map still running the standard stage one map, I probably actually lost power because we put a lot of bolt ones on this that the car doesn't really know about. And remember, we do have the upgraded high pressure fuel pump and we did the RS4 valve return um, thing, which apparently people put on because it just helps the injectors out a bit. But obviously, when we go and get maps, we'll find out about all of this. 
and see if we can hit our 300 brake mark which would be interesting and be very happy if we did but to be fair as long as we've got more than what we started with which was 250 and 320 pound at all absolute success car drove lovely but if you put it in sports mode the vibrations kick in the drones kick in the revs go up and hell breaks loose but happy days well pleased with how it's going and look no lights on the dash so hopefully next video we'll get up to our tech get the map on it see what power we're pushing now with this race core ko3 and the high pressure fuel pump we've done, the exhaust, the intercooler, see if it's made any difference. It should have done, but I do feel like it may be down a little bit on power at the moment, but it could all be in my head, it could be about the same, I don't know. Also, we'll get someone else out in it as well, get some more filming, get some drive-bys, get all that so you can hear it from the outside. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.